So one point you were up by nine in the second half. It yeah. kind of felt like you had it in control, and they come kind of roaring back. What are you, what are you guys saying in the huddle? What are you what are you saying to each other? To uh, I mean, from the beginning, we gave them life. We shouldn't have gave them life in the beginning, but um, uh, I know one possession. I, I made a start. Um, I let them number twelve hit a three. And just, I, we kind of needed to like just stump in their throats, but the way they were, they crawled back in it though. The way they were hitting threes. I, they, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I want to say something like 75% of their field goals were from three point range today. Was that just yeah. a product of them, yeah, specifically number 12 getting hot? You guys, were you struggling on the perimeter at all? or just? I mean, <clears throat> the scouting report, you know, we had them. Um, he's a shooter, number 20 is a shooter, and uh, he just had it. They just both had a good game. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess it's not, it's not really a. You guys have been decent defending the three so far this year, holding yeah. teams about 31%. Of the so it's this one of those things kind of an aberration. It's not a normal thing. Yeah, but in, that, in this case, we still got to, you know, just not let them go off, you know. Yeah. yeah. What about you running the point? Is that something you feel pretty comfortable with at this point? Do you like it? Uh, yeah, I do. That's fine. Um, I mean, it's, it's, I don't feel like it's a problem, but uh, I'm fine with it. How much point have you played in the past in your career? Uh, I played playing when I was in second grade. Second grade? Yeah. It's been that long. Yeah, been that long. Wow. Okay. What was the, uh, what was the message this week from us coming into this game? There's been a lot of lineup, you know, shuffling and trying to find the right combinations. What's yeah, that just, all about? just uh, no matter what, just play hard. Um, you haven't played a lot with um, Joey. He'll do things to try to get us, you know, make us better, but um, just play hard. Uh, what is that like? Go all out. That's what, that's what the big uh, message is. Was, was there, as a team, maybe, maybe not, you know, buzz, but also the team was just, you guys not been happy with the effort you've been getting? I mean, oh, no. Uh, every, every time we lost a game, we think uh, it was effort. Uh, for instance, like, you know, boxing out and getting the rebound and the last plays and stuff, that's all effort, and uh, that's something that we can control. Thank you. Yep. How do you guys get more consistent in the half-court offense? You seem to score a lot in transition today, but the half-court yeah. offense seemed to bog down. Yeah, uh, well, we pride ourselves on trying to get the ball up the court, trying to get fast, even points. But uh, we work a lot this uh, week on on half court offense, uh, we did numerous plays. Uh, we put in numerous plays for uh, half court, and uh, we just try to work with that as much as possible. Thanks, man. How are you coming along personally with, with your own game? Ten games into your college career now. Um, I'm getting way more confident in what I do um, tonight. I felt very confident playing, um, and I felt like my old self was just playing regularly. Um, coming in, uh, just think a lot, and now I'm trying to get back to myself, confidence-wise, and you know, just play how I normally play. Oh um, man, that's about it. You seem like the energy guy out there today with uh, seven rebounds. Is uh, I know Buzz is all about playing hard and showing a lot of energy. Uh, is is everything you know you originally committed to him at Marquette? Is is everything going how you pictured it would go for you is um, playing for him? Yes, it did. Just um, just on my own part, everything he's doing, um, I knew he would do. Um, now I just got to learn how to when he gets on me, um, not lose confidence in what I do, um, and just try to challenge him to you know doing what I, what he wants instead of um, like knocking myself and losing confidence. Where I do a lot. Is that tough when he gets on you? I know he probably gets on everybody a lot from what I hear. Yes, it just. Um, it just he's like such a big person in my life that um, when he gets on me, I kind of lose confidence because I don't feel like I'm doing everything he asks, and I try to do everything he asks really, really well, like to 100%. And when I fail, it just seems like I fail everything, and then I kind of lose confidence in myself. Where are you guys as a team right now, 10 games in? Uh, what are your thoughts? You've got got a couple more small conference games coming up, and then play West Virginia. Where are you guys at, heading into the big part of your play now for your big games? Uh, we still building um, team. We, Everybody come, trying to come together now, and uh, it's coming together pretty well. I think everybody, you know, um, doing what they got to do. Everybody's working really hard. We're going hard in practice now, so it's, it's getting pretty good. Everybody going to end up turning turning the corner. It's going to be really good. Thanks, man. Congratulations. Uh, true confidence can only come from your work, and so basically that's what I've been saying to him. I thought the last three days we had the best three consecutive days of practice we've had. Um, I didn't think we were particularly good in the first half. I thought our energy level was distinctly different in the second half. And I'm not exactly sure 
um, the appropriate thing to say publicly. Uh, I didn't say anything necessarily negative to our guys. You can ask Gabbard. Maybe Gabbard's smart enough to tell you what I said. But um, we have to play with confidence. And it's almost like when we go on that run and or other runs intermingled throughout the season, similar to Penn State, even uh, Miami of Ohio, it's like we go on the run and we go, we're winning. Now what are we going to do? And uh, we're thankful that we won. We've lost three games just like this. And so um, I think the attitude would be completely different if we had won the three prior games just like this, right? So we would have lost one game, and probably Ken Palm would say that's probably what we should have lost, you know? So we just got to continue to work, and we've got to play with a high level of energy and a high level of confidence. So, How rewarding is it that you for you to win a close game like this, win a game that goes down the wire like this? Yeah, I, I don't know, Berman, to be honest with you, that they knew how to process it. I think they, in some ways, um, had become accustomed to being on the other end of it and uh, being somewhat, what is the word, uh, like it's a moral victory. Like, man, we played really hard and we almost won. And somehow you have to cross the threshold of you, know, you you play to win, right? You don't play to lose by one possession. So uh, credit to their staff and their team. Uh, 12 gave us absolutely all we could handle. Set a Castle Coliseum record, most threes ever by an opponent, by a player. You said that you can only get you know confidence from doing it from your performance. You guys hit eight of 11 free throws in the last three minutes and you've been, I mean, a lousy free throw team. Where did the confidence for that come from? Yeah, that's uh, that was kind of a portion of what we talked about in the locker room. Um, it's just the mentality. <laughs> It's not as if we had hired a free throw consultant at the eight minute media timeout. We made one free throw in the first half and we made 14 free throws in the second half. So why did we shoot more? Well, that meant the ball was going more north and south, which means it forces rotation, which means you're probably gonna be fouled more. So it's just a mentality thing. And in my opinion, mentality is a portion of confidence. Shane,